Welcome back to Media Day Live. We're here field side at the Raven Stadium, M&T Bank Stadium. I'm Bobby Broyles along with Brandon Noble. We have the UAlbany Great Danes here with us, head coach Greg Catuso, offensive lineman Griffin Clancy, and linebacker Eli Mincer. Gentlemen, how has Media Day treated you so far? It's been pretty fun, honestly. It's a cool experience just to uh, be down here and meet all the guys from other teams. It's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah definitely a great experience, and uh, we're having a blast here. Absolutely. Well, Coach, uh, your team last year dropped a ton of close games, but we're able to end in a dramatic fashion last year. It was still unbelievable, the win over rival Stony Brook. Uh, have you guys been able to use that game a little bit as momentum as you guys get ready for 2019? Yeah, I just think it's a – it's something that the kids can see that when we play well and play 60 minutes, it, you know, you can win football games. We, we lost heartbreakers last year. I, it yep. was, I've never experienced anything like, I felt terrible. I remember standing on the field because Stony Brook threw a Hail Mary on fourth and 11 and caught the yep. in the end zone. And there was about 35 seconds left or 30 seconds left. And, and I, I just remember the heartache. And my first thought was, what do I tell this football team after this? To lose these games this way is heart wrenching and for all the work they put in. But they fought back and won the game. And I think that lesson can go a long way to helping us build this year to, to we can win these close games. Yeah, I mean, that game was the definition of the game of inches, wasn't it, John? What was it like being a part of that, Griffin? Uh, time actually stopped when uh, Ethan kicked that ball. I mean, it was, uh, it was like a good three seconds where, I mean, we had no idea what was going to happen. And, <laughs> and it was awesome, though, once it went through. Uh, it was what a great experience and what a great time we had to send the seniors off with a win. Uh, it, and it bounced through, too. It yes, was, it did. Oh, yeah. It, it got, couldn't just go that, through oh, and no, save us. It did not go through. You know, it, it had a bounce through. You know? I think the <laughs> announcers that were calling the game, everything was just everything yeah. just paused for a second. Like, did that bounce over or did it go short? So it was a heck of an ending, a great celebration. It had to be something great to be a part of. Uh, it was definitely great to be a part of. I just remember running onto the field after I went in and just running to that snow bank, to the yeah. apple. It was so much fun. Yep. Well, the, the funny thing about the end of the game was, Ethan was running down the field after he made it to the snowbank, and mm -hmm. half the football team was running with Ethan, and the other half was cutting across them, and I couldn't figure out where they were going, but they were running to get the apple, and get which the apple, the, yep. you know, for Stony Brook Albany game. So it was kind of a, a fun scene yeah. at the end. That's what college football is all about, right yeah. there, the rivalries. Yeah. What, what what are the things? I mean, you get that win, so the kids taste, get get the victory after all those tough losses. But how do you take that momentum and keep it going through the off season and, and, and rolling into camp? Yeah, I really think that each year is a new year, and I think that the thing that – I don't think that game really impacts other than mentally they know they can win. We know we can win these games. We've been in the thick of this thing, and we've had success. We've lost some tough games. But the most important thing with our kids is the leadership that I'm seeing, the in depth of leadership. Yeah. You know, we have talent. We have more talent than we've had, but I love our leadership group. Um, it's, it's large, and there's more joining it, and I think that's something that it's going to really bode well for us going into the future because at the end, you know this from playing, is when you – those tight games, somebody stands up. Yeah. Somebody has a TFL. Somebody makes a great catch, and that's what we need to get to is that next step for us to start winning these close battles. Griffin, offensively, you guys bring back a lot of weapons, uh, especially in the skill positions. You, you block for guys like you know, Carl Mofer at running back, and you have Dev Holmes, a, wide, a young wide receiver. Uh, what is it like? How exciting is it to block for guys like that and seeing them make plays? It's great. You know, when they – can, uh, they make the plays like they do. It's always uh, just fun to celebrate with them right at the end. You know, uh, Jared Reeves is going to have a, definitely a big year ahead, and you know we're looking forward to it. You know, Dev is going to, you know, he's maturing every single day, and I think he's going to have a, another great year. And uh, Carl as well, yeah. very positive uh, with him, and you know they're uh, they're they're really good kids to be around and great teammates as well. But without you guys, nothing happens. So what are you guys looking like? We're, uh, we definitely have some depth. We have some depth this year. And, um, you know, I th we got uh, Sean Kennedy coming back and uh, Nico Coleman and uh, Makai Royster. And we're really, uh, I think this year we took it upon ourselves to actually, like, gel together better. Um, we, went, uh, we got some food a lot this year and uh, definitely had a lot of meetings. Food, for Randy, Just, yeah. uh, It's a theme. <laughs> th Big things. guys and food, man, it goes. <laughs> but uh, things to get along and, you know, really, you know, it's the, it's the tightest group in sports, I believe yeah. it's the offensive line, and um, and like I said, this year I really think that uh, we're going to take positive steps in the right direction. Eli, what about on your side of the ball? You guys, have, I've enjoyed watching you guys play defense the last couple of years. The games that I've been able to call, talk a little bit about what you guys are doing as a group defensively to make sure that 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 continues and you get better. 
I think it starts with uh, C Coach Duds. He does a good job of making sure we're all like one unit and not focusing on individual accolades and goals and all our effort is going towards getting turnovers and winning games. And Coach, uh, obviously going into a season, uh, the quarterback Jeff Undercuffler got some experience late in the season. I know you got some other quarterbacks, you know, battling out. How has Jeff looked in, in that position? How is that involving here in the offseason? Well, you know, I could kiss the NCAA for their rule last year, the four-game rule. I mean, yeah, that yeah. was huge for us. I mean, that's a kid who would have not been able to play. I would have never burned his red shirt at the end of a year like that. So he, he started three games. He played half at Maine. The first pass he ever threw was in the snow at Maine for a touchdown. Yep. Um, he, he's got a lot of upside. He's got a lot of work to do. You know, he's, he's going to get pushed. We, Griffin Dawn we brought in as a transfer from Nevada. We think has talent, and he came in. Um, so we're going to have a real real battle royale at quarterback, and um, it's going to be best man. But we need to be better at that position. We need to be great at quarterback, and that's going to be the goal. Uh, you can't win in this conference. You can't win close games if you're not great at quarterback. Yeah. Eli, the coach just mentioned this, the, the conference and how you have to be good, and, and it's week in and week out, right? You're challenged every week. What's that like to go out? and Because you're going to see all sorts of different kinds of offenses, right? You get the spread. You get two tights and fullbacks. I mean, what's that like for you to go out and, and play a, the, the grind of the CAA season? It's pretty exciting, honestly. You know going into every week that the game you're, gonna, you're about to play is going to be a, a battle, and it's not going to be anything but just a huge battle, and you're going to have to fight for 60 minutes, if not more, to get come out with a win. Personally, Eli, you've had such a, I think, a great career there going into your senior season, been such a playmaker on this defense, game-changing plays, lots of sacks and turnovers, force. Uh, going into your senior year, what are some of your goals as you head into your last season? Uh, I am think I'm more focused on like team accolades, trying to get the team a CAA championship. It looked cool when I saw the main with their ring, so I, I want that I want that for the, my, my guys back home. Nice. All right, so here's the good question, okay? I'm going to start over here, though. All right, Eli, don't take offense to this. All right, so what is your go-to meal during camp? Go-to meal? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we could get a ribeye steak, <laughs> it would no, 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 no. be that. Reality. Is that the Reality. budget? Reality. Right. Go to meal. Yeah. Try to chicken and rice. Try to keep it like lean. Try to stay healthy during camp. Uh, you know, diet is always important uh, during camp to stay healthy. So that's uh, so chicken and rice. What's the O line meal that you're eating this summer, though? Uh, we, uh, you know, we went to uh, went to pizza. We got pizza once. We got wings once. So Good. we uh, definitely uh, just. Big guy food. Yeah, that's big guy yeah. food. That's Staples for big guys. Yeah, that's a right. staple. It's exactly. like air and water that's for everybody exactly else. Right. <laughs> Eli, what about you? Uh, during camp, I'd have to say I'm a huge peanut butter and jelly guy. There it is. Uh, there I've been waiting for that, man. That's that was they're my easy meal. to make and they're, yeah. you know, they're not time consuming. <laughs> they fill you up. Uh, Coach, do you get to eat during camp? Yeah, yeah, we do. We actually have a, a local um, uh, pizza shop. Mimo runs it. He's great to us and he he, he takes good care of our coaching staff. Nice. We, we get. Yeah, too too good. Too good. Yeah, yeah we, we probably need to cut it back a little bit. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> Excellent. Well, coach, what do you what do you believe are the keys for this program to move up here in the CA standings here in 2019? You know, we we've been there before. We we understand what it takes to win games. I just think consistency, leadership, and, and staying healthy would be a really yeah. nice gem for us this year. And I, <laughs> but that's where when you don't have a lot of depth and you get an injury or two at a position, it cripples you. Mm -hmm. I really believe you know we we have depth now where we can. You know, Griffin alluded to it earlier, talked about it, was you know, we could never rotate a tackle in, in the past. We mm -hmm. feel like we can do that. We can rotate guards. We have eight defensive linemen at least we think can play, maybe nine that we can rotate through and, and be fresh. Mm -hmm. We just haven't had those things before, and I yep. feel really good about it. I think safety with the injuries we had in the back end, we've got five safeties that have starts and game experience, which mm -hmm. is is uh, is gold. So yep. I, I think that, that we – we have a bunch of starters back. We have a lot of experience. We have a bunch of kids that are in their fourth and fifth year, which is really important, um, that are leaders. And I, I feel great about our football team. I, I just cannot wait for the 30th next week and get everybody in and get started. All right, Coach. Well, we look forward to seeing your football team here in 2019. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on set. Enjoy the rest of the media day, and good luck and stay healthy this season. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.